I'll let you, I'll let you open up and, and say what you want to say. Cause I know you probably have something to say about Kristen. So go ahead. <laughs> you're, you're setting me up here, man. You're trying to set me up. What I saw I'm just letting coming you have down the, the floor. stretch is honestly great disc golf and good for disc golf. I saw Missy and Kristen have an absolute battle with each other. Mm -hmm. and it went back and forth and then Kristen had a had a moment where um missy just nailed a 60 footer or 45 footer down the hill and took all the momentum that's what i saw and i'm with, I'm with bobby she just doesn't want to jump in the lake <laughs> <laughs> that's possible. That's She's possible. fine with taking. I mean, this is her uh, fourth time taking second at this tournament. Yeah. She doesn't want to jump in the lake. Yeah. Here's another thing that I think is important. I want to use Kristen as an example of how putting is tough down the stretch. She has a 20 footer. 20 footer yeah. pulls it right. Splashes out. Yeah. Okay, after Missy nails one from 45. Oh, gosh. Can we talk about that Missy putt real quick? That's what I'm talking about. You missed that putt. It's over. Yeah. I well, mean, look at this two. thing. She's down you, two. She has to go for it. You, you airball this putt. You have probably about 60 feet coming back up, and it's like an 80-footer because of the like Doctor, Here's the thing. It's big money, look Missy. Look at this thing. I mean, It's the big money, pump. Missy, and she hadn't been putting good the whole tournament. And then nails that one. And then if you keep watching the clip, you watch Kristen step up and miss a 20 footer. My point is this. There's a lot of other people in the division that get absolutely crushed for missing putts down the stretch. Yeah. But we're going to give this one a slide. No, here's my point. Oh, we shouldn't give it a it's, slide. It's tough going down the stretch against great players, the best players in your division and them applying pressure mm -hmm. and everybody's success. So what is it? Success. success oh, that's a hard word. That's tough. Uh, size, get size, in here. Hook it size, up. get in here. What is, that's a tough word. Susceptible. 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 Say it. Say it. Silas. Susceptible. Success. Yes. Susceptible. <laughs> Susceptible. Yes. Yeah. It's got way too many syllables. <laughs> How do we have a podcast? That's hilarious. To misses. What Silas said to misses. Sports Everybody podcast, is. Yoli. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is. And I don't know. Maybe at this point now we can take a little step back and be like, hey, it's okay. It's oh, okay. Oh no, it's not okay to miss it pods, is okay. No. Brody, everybody's gonna do it. Everybody is going to do it. Every single be the best players in the world down the stretch, and I've said this before, are the biggest choke artists <laughs> in the entire sport. They no, are but, but we're talking about like I, I, again, no, no, I think no, 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 no. I think what Kristen did They're there the was the biggest choke bad. artists in the sport because here's the deal. Somebody has to choke. Guess what? Guess who choked? Not Ricky, necessarily. Ricky choked. Down the stretch. Yes. He had a big lead. He had momentum. And then he went bogey, bogey. Guess what that means? If I do that in his situation, what did I do? Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think every scenario though you have to choke. Like I, I wouldn't call no no Paul, no no, no, no. there's certain situations just because it's bad that it's choked. No, no, no. If you miss down the stretch and yeah. somebody else doesn't. Correct. And they win and you don't. What is that? But just because you're great and you don't do it all the time and you've made putts to win doesn't make you a charcoal artist. No, we just give them leeway because they've done it before. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I mean, I, you have a point in certain situations. I just think there are situations where you don't have to necessarily be a ch like, it'd be hard to call someone that they choked it away. No, that's only because of their reputation, Brody. I'm telling you, if you just take what it is, just what it is, no reputation. And you never seen it before. And you watch somebody make a 40 footer in your eyeball or in the person's eyeball. And then you watch the other person miss. What is that? Okay. No so context behind it. Let me except just, for a, hey, they're coming down the stretch. Well, let me just ask you this question. Me. Let me ask you this question. Let's say goose, you know, goose had a, um, 
Let's say Goose also had a drop zone putt to force a uh, a playoff, right? So he watches Proctor step up, make the drop zone putt. Now Goose knows he has to make that drop zone putt to force a playoff. I don't feel like if he, I feel like if he misses that, I'm not calling that. I'm not saying that he choked it because that's no, a tough but putt. He wasn't 20 feet. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think distance matters. And I think yeah, that, 100%. that miss, like, no, I'm talking Kristen about, I'm talking about the sure. things that you do for sure. Hey, guess what? You bring that a little bit farther. You put, let's take the trees away. We take the drop zone away and it's wide open. Gannon misses that putt. It's different. He's good at that. Mm. He's good at that. Right. Like yeah, that's I, something that he has an above average above the field. It's not choking because it is pretty far. You bring it a little bit in, let's say 35 feet. I think that's tough. a really good range for everybody to be able to take accountability. 35 to 40 feet inside mm. of that. You can't miss those, man. I was more shocked. I mean, obviously that missed putt from Kristen is shocking. I'm not trying to downplay that. And it wasn't a bad putt. It hit right side. It yeah. flopped out. She missed it, but I it wasn't, she didn't airball it. Like we've seen other people do, right? She didn't just go whoop. Okay. Awful. Yeah. I don't agree with Jomez where they're like, that should have stayed. I don't know who said that. Someone on Jomez said that should have stayed. It, not on those baskets. And here's another thing that That's I can't like a 50, stand 50. Some, Yeah. This is 20 feet doesn't catch the pole. It's all right side. And here's the thing about those baskets. They go up like this. You can't miss right or left low because mm. they come up like this. It's mm. shallower. You got to hit them high. So it pulls it in mm. like that's another thing. I don't think people really realize this, but you have to change your putt from basket to basket. And if you don't, and you just expect like that to be a good putt, cause it went in on a different basket, you're not doing your job. Yeah. There's definitely certain, certain baskets where it's like, I aim, I don't change my aiming point all that all that much, but I still will change it like six inches. Yeah. Like I'll, or the I, height I, for sure. The oh, height. Yeah. I have to change it when I go to MVP. I didn't get to play it this year, obviously, but when I play on those baskets, I'm aiming high, which is a way more intimidating putt for me because I like to drop them in there. Mm -hmm. So now I actually have to change and put pace on them. And Somebody sent me this the other day. They're like, Oh Paul, so you're calling this a spit out and they put it in the prodigy basket and then, and it did the push out. Right. And here's my point. If the prodigy basket has a reputation for hitting it slow in that spot and pushing <laughs> it back out, why are you hitting it in that spot? Me as a player, I'm never going to be aiming there. Right. I have yeah. to aim lower. Doesn't, wouldn't that make sense? There's a, I don't know what basket it is. And There's then one if I hit that spot and it comes out, whose fault is it? Oh, it's your fault. Cause you know, it's, it's my gonna fault happen. because I, as a professional am not aiming in that spot. Yeah, I'm not, I can't. Because I know if I hit that spot, I'm aiming right. If I have to hit it high, let's say there's like a bush or something, and I have the only way for it to go in is, is high. I'm pulling it off the pole. I don't want anything to do with the pole. And then I make it and guess what? Nobody's perfect. So sometimes when I put and it goes in the middle of those, it goes in sometimes, yeah. but if it, by chance it were to come back to me, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be like, well, yeah, that's, hit it in the spot. Then it comes back to me. Seen that before. There's, there's one basket where if you go high, right, it's like 75% chance of it not going in. And you just know that. So if you miss a if you pull it a little bit to the right, there's a 75% chance that it goes in or does not go in. Yeah. Like, like on those, those big, deep, the mock X's high on those ones are not good. Yeah. It just like pushes it out almost every yeah, time. And it's hard. It just goes think and it doesn't mm -hmm. like to stay. But anyways, back to the, back to my point about that. I'm not going to even say that word ever again, by the way. Choke. It's, no, no. Susceptible. Oh, God. Oh, that, that's it. a hard. It's a good. Thank one. you. There you go. Wait, you didn't even say nice. That, nice job. Thanks, I said, man. there you go. I'm not trying to say it again. I, I said it once. I'm good. I'm good forever. I'm good. But I don't know. My, my point is this. Get back to the point. The best players in, in the world choke the most because mm -hmm. they're in that situation. Guess to how many it. times I've choked in my life? Like five times? Mm -hmm. Like five times ever? I've had five chances 
Well, it depends because, you know, you could choke away a cash spot, you know, yeah, last yeah, cash. Yeah, 100%. You like could I cho- choke, I choke away, away a, but you're a talking 20 about, footer. Yeah, you're, t- you're talking about you're in a position to win the tournament win. and, you, and right. you let it go. Right. The yes. hardest, by the way, and this is what I'm saying, the hardest thing to do is win a tournament. The pressure's the highest. Mm-hmm. So, of course, there's going to be a winner and a loser, and it's the same thing. Somebody makes it, somebody misses it. Mm-hmm. And people liked, I hate, I hate the word choke. I do. You say it a lot for someone that doesn't like it. Well, that's because that's what people understand. Okay. And then I defend it. That's fine. Right. I'm just saying you say it a lot for someone that doesn't like it. I don't, I don't because I, <laughs> what I'm saying is you take away everything and it is what it is. There's a, somebody who makes it and somebody who misses, but because these players are so great, we give them passes. No, I don't think I don't think anyone's giving anyone passes. People I think, get passes, Brody. No, I don't give anyone passes. What are you talking about? I'm I'm the You're least pass, pass giver. No, 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 I'm the least pass giver. Oh, you got a pocket no, 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 full no, no, of passes. No, 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 no. I never give any. I think you actually are. Uh, I think you're focusing too much on the putt. Oh and yeah, I, me, I, went, I went. Yeah, I went off the deep end. It's I, all right. I, I, to me, I think that the more surprising was the two upshots, the two identical forehand upshots that she threw short Spartan. inside. Hey, who in the tournament's making the upshot from there? Who in the tournament is going to in that position? It, are you watching Brody and go? All right, this is on the island. An FPO? Yeah. I don't, I, I would, I wouldn't wager that much. So then how could it be a choke job? No, no, I'm not saying it's a choke. I'm just but, saying it, I was surprised that she missed see, those two have, shots. But my, I know, but you said, I think we need to focus. You took my choke job thing yeah. from the putt to this. My point is Putting's I like easier. to, I like to put it on the thing that you're good at. Right. Okay. If you're failing at th- this is my definition of that spot. It's pressure being too much for you to handle. And then your body fails you on that. She's really good at those putts and she wasn't like off by much, but it slid out. Okay. On isn't she kind of good at the upshots though? Like, isn't that her game? Like the forehand upshot? Isn't she I pretty just good asked at that? You, you put anybody in the, I'm, I'm nervous for anybody in that situation. We watched Proctor miss it. I mean, 18 tough. It is 17 is not I, that tough. Though. And so the 17 upshots not that tough. A choke job. I can't call that. And let's talk about Missy too, real quick. How the heck is Missy throwing a forehand on 18? So that's clutch. What, what happened there? Why that's is it a forehand? That's why clutch. Why a forehand? There's a is difference. It, is that's that a backhand point. turnover for her that's all day? That, that's my point. She overcomes, knocks down a 50 footer or 45 footer, however far it was, Big and then boy. throws a shot that she never throws onto the island. That's clutch. That, no, it was clutch. That's but clutch. I'm, I'm still wondering why did she throw a forehand and not a backhand there? I have no idea. <laughs> I was so surprised. I, I like was this, so worried. I'm looking at the angles. Not, I didn't like it out of her hand, by the way. I thought she well, it's a very it. overstable disc. Yeah. I, it has to be. Cause she, she ripped over on top of it. But yeah, looking at that, I was like, to me, this seems like just a, her normal, like that, like the standstill little buttery back in that she has turnover. I, I was shocked when she went forehand there, but Hey, it turned out it worked. Um, Big money, Missy. That's what people are saying. That's what word on the street is. Back to my other point. This is my year point to you. Mm. You let them all win early. Yeah. And now look what happens. Missy comes out with the points title. Oh, I think Kristen finished third, but she also didn't play a lot of events. She, she missed a lot of events for her injury. That, hey, it's just what's on the paper. She, you can't tell me she didn't want to win it. Oh, she definitely wanted to win it for yeah. sure. I mean, Missy, Missy's solid. And, and Missy also, not only does Missy give great interviews, always love it when she comes on here. Hopefully she'll be on next week. Again, that's my bad guys, you know, timing issues this weekend, stuff like that. Um, hopefully we'll get these guys on before uh, big, next big, week. Big money, Missy. How about big moment, Missy? Yeah, I, I, she's also she's also kind of fun to watch. There's a so lot of fun. people, Yuli, that I'm like, I don't enjoy watching you play disc golf. She's actually enjoyable to watch. I, I actually like, she shows emotion. Um, I, I like watching her. Me she too. had that nice Me little too. fist pump after the big putt. Who's your favorite um, FPO player to watch right now? Like most exciting to watch. Ooh. 
Uh, uh, give me four. I'll give you my four. You give me your four. Okay, hold on. Let me go to... Uh, uh, you want to go first? Uh, why? Am I going to steal your answers? No, because you're stalling. Well, yeah, I'm going to pull. I don't want to. I don't want to do the. I look like an idiot when I didn't (laughs) say freaking Ezra Robinson is the most accomplished without a without a W. I look like an idiot. I can't do that again. Yeah, you go first. Go ahead. I think Chris and Tatar, without a doubt, Uh, the tournament's not the same if she's not there. I agree with that. A hundred percent. I think that's my number one person to watch. I love it. I love all of number two is missy i would disagree i would say holland okay you go holland I, you, go holland you, you too. can't disagree with who i like to watch oh well i'm just disagreeing <laughs> with your placement i'm gonna go um silva i really enjoy watching silva right now silva's fun i gotta go just um, because you have no idea what you're gonna get i gotta go evelina <laughs> I can't go, <laughs> Evelina, because you're going to see incredible drives. Yep, and then you just don't know. It's just a you don't know, but it is also painful to watch sometimes too. Yeah, what's four? I gave four, didn't I? I went no. Kristen, Missy, Silva, and Owen. Oh man. Yeah, owns up there too. I like watching you, Paige too, though. You already said own. I'm I'm gonna go with uh Paige is so fun to watch when she's playing good. That was fun to watch her down the stretch. She's playing great. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with em- Emily. I like I liked watching Emily play, and maybe it was just because it was a new name, new player, but watching yeah. her play out at um Des Moines, that was that was a fun little run. She shows also a lot of emotion too. I like people that show emotion. I guess Evelina doesn't really show him. Oh, she know Evelina no, does she show does. emotion. She's yeah, she happy does. and she yeah. also looks like she just saw a ghost sometimes. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Silva on that. has no emotion, but probably my favorite to watch is Silva the Calvin version. That's a good point. I think so. Maybe are they the equivalents? Might be. 